Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. In this video, I want to introduce you guys to one of my favorite features from VS Code. It recently just got released and is actually called the Sticky Scroll UI feature. Okay, or oh, just Sticky Scroll. All right, let me show you guys how to get into this, right? And how can you use it as a developer? So let's go in into VS Code, right? So imagine you are writing some type of uh, code in whatever language it could be. It could be C++, C++ sharp it could be on javascript php right and let's say for whatever reason the file is like maybe 100 lines of code 200 lines of code 300 lines of code right even though you shouldn't have such a big file but sometimes it happens right and let's say you have a couple of functions or methods or classes inside of this file and you kind of lose your way of like where exactly is it that you're at now, for example, let's go in and start scrolling through here, right? We can see that there's a module that exports right here section. There's also a function called raw, right? Uh, we also have another one called parse. And then as we continue, we can see that there's some functions inside of those, right? Um, at the same time, you also have one right here, like the type checker. Now, let's say again, this is 500 lines of code. There's a whole bunch of other functions and a whole bunch of other things below here. You can actually come in now how will we know exactly where is it that we are as far as like the scope of a function or scope of a class right usually what i would do is i will go in like this i will say okay cool i will close every single other function that's here and i will do it like that right so i can know exactly where i'm actually working at right uh, and you can do that like that by just closing it and, and that's cool and all but there's a better way of doing it now right you can actually use the sticky scroll to know exactly where you are located within the file so to do this all you have to do is command shift p right which brings up the command palette and then from there go in and go into the preferences or just search settings and click on over here right? open user settings go over here and search sticky right click right here where it says editor experimental sticky scroll enabled click here right sometimes you might have to click over here and turn it on here uh, depending how you have your vs code set up okay and what's gonna happen now is that when we scroll down we're gonna be able to see where exactly is it that we are inside of this file as far as like the scope of a function or the scope of a class okay so come over here as you can see it says function row so now right here is going to stick to the top so long as i'm still inside of this function so as i scroll down you can see that yes it's telling me all of this code that's in here is inside of this function raw okay now again also too i will also mention that you have to make sure you have your code formatted properly for this to work so again if i come in here and maybe i'll do this okay as you can see it kind of puts the function by itself and you know you might not want to do that right so for example if i move this here you see how it turns to return function parse like you don't want to do that right <laughs> so make sure that you have your code actually formatted and it's indented or having like two spaces it's just it has to have uh, a certain format right now this is experimental but it does work as long as you have the file formatted so for example i click here format right uh, i'm gonna click on prettier right and then from there everything is formatted for me and then now I could see how uh, all of these things that are here, right, that have been indented are inside of this function. Okay, so that's something that you want to keep in mind. Now, there's sometimes that uh, it might not work in certain situations. So, for example, let's say you have something like this. If I scroll down, as you can see, it doesn't stick to the top. And also, too, for example, this is a like a php file right this is a class now it will work on the class right but it won't work on this public functions so as you can see this public functions are not actually sticking to the top so keep that in mind okay it's gonna work in certain situations not gonna work for everything hopefully in the future uh, they do fix it and and actually look at situations like this like in php and make it available uh, for like public functions i think this will be uh, really 
are useful um but again there's a lot of cool things that you can do with this in the sense of of this like you can come in and say for example let's say i'm scrolling down and i'm like man i don't know exactly where i'm at i could come back over here and click to the top and it will bring me all the way to the beginning of when we started writing this function so again there's a lot of use cases that you guys can use for this um but again just have fun with it it's something that's experimental but it's literally probably like my favorite thing right now because i do use it right all right so anyways guys listen hopefully you guys like this tutorial i'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of small tutorials like this one uh so you guys can get a lot of content uh from me this year uh but yeah man if you like this type of videos make sure you subscribe make sure you like the video of course and leave a comment and of course don't forget to go to codingphase.com right if you're looking to learn how to code or you're looking to get into the game we focus on getting people either into jobs or making money independently so if you want to make money with the skills that you have as a developer or the skills that you're going to have once you take the courses right you definitely should go into codingphase.com check it out right we have a lot of different career paths that can help you get into the game like content editor html email developer front-end developer full stack uh shopify theme developer shopify app developer and you can literally get started with just 20 dollars right $20 will get you the gold membership it gives you everything from the front end uh, if you want to learn more about different things that you can specialize in like content editing uh, HTML email Shopify theme development right things like that full stack development you should definitely try out the diamond membership and also too if you need the extra help right you need the group coaching you need somebody to look at your portfolio help you build the projects show you exactly what you need um, to get the job right um, help you in this whole journey guess what the diamond membership is a great uh price right 375 and pretty much gives you access for six months to the whole platform so everything on the website 90 plus courses plus all the extra features for just 375 i think it's a great deal all right uh guys listen i'll see you guys later looking forward to continue to create cool content for you guys and yeah peace